Hey everybody, today we are bringing you a tour of our brand new workshop space and a little bit of our garage organization. We worked really hard on this project because since we moved into this house, the one thing we hadn't touched at all was our workshop and garage. And it's actually the space that we spend a lot of our time in. So in this video today, we're gonna show you how we organized and created a beautiful workshop like you can see here. We have storage, we have display, we have functionality. This workshop was so much fun and we feel so much better in this space. So let's show you how we put this space together and some of the projects that you can copy to make your workshop look great too. All right, so here's a quick picture of what it looked exactly like with nothing done before. It looked terrible. We forgot to take video installing these cabinets, but they were a huge help. They were from Gladiator brand, and they provided a lot of storage. Here's how we had our workbench and our tools stored before. Obviously, that was not a very good solution. We still had hand tools in a box from when we moved from our old house. As with any organization, project, or makeover, the first thing to do is get rid of all the old stuff and get it out of the way. We had this old workbench from when we moved into our house and we just dragged it out of the way to make it work. We started by putting plywood between two concrete pillars in our garage. This is basically gold at this point with lumber prices the way they are, but we thought that it would be good to have a solid background that we could stain and make look good for the back of our shop. With the plywood, we started off by putting it in place and using brad nails to attach it to the studs that were there then went back and added screws to make sure it was solid. We were gonna be hanging a lot of weight on that, so we needed to make sure it was in place and would hold everything. With the plywood in place, we stained it all one exact same color. We used Nimwax Golden Oak. We thought this was a nice backdrop, not too brown, not too colorful, but something that would be a nice backdrop for the other things that we were gonna be putting on top of it. Attaching to the plywood first was our new wall control storage panels. These panels are absolutely outstanding for storing hand tools and power tools in your workshop. They attach easily with screws in the corners and sides. They can be mix and matched to make any sort of space that you need. We went with a long straight row of five panels that really will hold all of our tools in exactly where we need them to be right over our workbench that we're gonna build next. See how great these are? They hold a lot of weight and we were gonna be putting that to the test with all the power tools we have. After hanging the wall control panels, I hung up this metal sign. This was a gift for our sixth anniversary from Morgan. It says Charleston Crafted Workshop. I love that this is on our new workspace and will be in every video and every photo we do here. It looks great, it's very modern and cool, and I absolutely love it. With that in place, the last thing to do was to put in our new workbench. You can get the free plans for this on our website. Just click over to charlestoncrafted.com and search mobile workbench. Here's how everything looks with the tools all on our wall control panels. We added a shelf above that so we can put things on display. This workbench rolls in and out and is absolutely monstrous. We have a ton of stuff inside these storage cabinets. This allowed us to get space off of our shelves and the other parts of our garage so that we can be more organized. Speaking of other parts of the garage, let's show you one other thing we did. We added this accent wall between two columns that was just filled with scrap wood before from the builder and put in some laminate flooring. We also organized under those stairs to make sure our recreational stuff was all in one place and our toys were easily accessible by our kid. This is also the rest of our garage organization and what it looked like before. We were able to organize by getting all the tools off these shelves and now we have a good place for bulk food storage and other tools. We actually moved the other workbench over here for right now just because it's hard to part with something like that right now, but we'll see about how we use that in the future. This is kind of a tour of how we do things. We also have free plans for this stain storage and spray paint storage rack on our site. Just go to charlestoncrafted.com and search those. So that's our workshop makeover reveal. We loved working on this project and it feels so nice to have a functional, amazing looking space to bring you our projects. We can't wait to stand behind this workbench and build things that you can make yourselves using plans that we create. Make sure you subscribe to our channel here so you can see videos of all of our projects and follow along on our website, charlestoncrafted.com to get free plans for projects like these. Stay tuned for more.